All right, guys, welcome back to SEMA Show 2021, which is in Las Vegas. Um, you know what? We're in the overlanding section of SEMA Show, and we're actually in the Lance Campers booth area, whatever you want to call it, and they have this really cool, uh, I guess it's a prototype, and we're going to talk to them about it. Let's go in here and see if we can, uh, we can grab Bob over here to tell us about this. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? Bob right. is going to explain the uh, Enduro, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So Lance first, Enduro. Tell, tell the folks out there a little bit about uh, Lance Campers sure. and what you guys are doing with this. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm Bob Rogers, Director of Marketing with Lance Campers. We've been in business uh, about 56 years, so a lot of folks know us for truck campers, slide-in campers. Uh, we started in North Hollywood, moved to Pacoima, now we're up in Lancaster, California, about 22 years up there. We started building conventional travel trailers about 12 years ago, so 14 foot to 26 foot ultralight, and business has just been off the charts. We we just it's been great. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know we saw the the trend with overlanding and that kind of thing and off road pe uh, capability. So we decided to put together a prototype vehicle. What should it be? Many of our friends uh, have Sprinter builds, right. have Class Cs. I've been camping in a Lance truck camper for the last seven years. I right. grew up RVing. Mm -hmm. I've camped in everything from a Coleman folding trailer to a diesel pusher, mm -hmm. everywhere in between. But now my wife and I, we're like, we like to go off grid. Mm -hmm. We like to mountain bike, we like to fly fish, we like to kayak. So what kind of rig would do that? So we're sitting around literally on the BLM land in the Sierra Nevadas, and one couple, two couples have Sprinters, one couple has a, a, another truck camper brand, and we have our Lance. We said, okay, if we're going to do this, what would you like? So we started going, well, the women, I really like an inside toilet. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm tired of the bucket and sitting on a bucket and doing right. that kind of stuff. And I said, well, I got to have my shower. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, I need a shower more than my wife does. She, she can get by a couple of days. <laughs> so we said, inside <laughs> yeah, shower, inside feeling. toilet. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So that kind of established the, the form factor of the height in the back. And then we said, we want it as small as it can be as light as it can be right so you can go down two tracks it's not a it's not a rock crawler trailer but you can go off-road mm -hmm. legit with 17 18 inches of travel clearance, clearance mm -hmm. and and get out there and set up a base camp and and work off battery basically okay so that's how the whole premises of enduro came up we we established everything else with the build and what features we wanted we have a full 12 volt power with lithium batteries and solar we've got um, heater uh, 12 volt air conditioner, yeah, okay. actually you're not inside, mm -hmm. um, and then we use a Truma cooler, refrigerator, freezer right. cooler, okay, and uh, to to get our refrigerator stuff in the rear. So we'll we'll go through all that, but that's the genesis of it. Mm -hmm. And so far, I've been here. People are like, okay, when can I buy it? Yeah, so looks pretty cool. Yeah. So a couple of questions. Sure. Uh, what can tow it? Right now, I think we've got like a Volkswagen. Yeah, something the VW Alice, and, and we kind of we chose that vehicle on purpose. So okay. my boss says, hey. You know, put an SUV in front of it because it's going to be a 3,500-pound uh, GBWR. Mm -hmm. We're hoping dry weight comes in at 27, 2,800. Okay. Give us 7, 800, you know, pounds to of play with. cargo. Right. Most SUVs and Jeepers, when they hear 3,500, they're like, you know, especially the Gladiator people and things like yeah. that. Yeah. But I think that weight's about right. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we put it behind the Atlas and built the Atlas a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. So there's a little, there's a couple of things on that. Yeah. Just to uh, absolutely. Uh, basically, you got a roof rack that looks like yep. just bikes and boxes and things like that up there. Yeah, we so. we wanted to beef it up to be able to go again down the two tracks that it's going to tow this on. So we have an H and R suspension. Okay. It's an adjustable lift from one and a half to two and a half inch on the lift. It's a full coil over suspension system. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, wheels and tires. Mm -hmm. uh, did an AFE exhaust system, AFE cold air intake. Uh, and then a front runner rack system with LED lights. And then there's a Tacoa uh, fly rod box, uh, actually, as well, because a lot of our consumers, including me, like to fly fish. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and do that too. That's so cool. That's the vehicle, yeah. Yeah, and then you've yeah. got the rims. The rims kind of yeah, they look like they're coordinated. Absolutely, <laughs> same ones. Yeah. We're trying to actually, right now, there's two different bolt patterns. Right. So, what we're trying to do is get. Uh, the same bolt pattern on both. Oh, so I, I see. carry one spare to handle yeah. both. Oh, that would be cool. But you know, yeah, yeah, I mean, still, it depends on what folks are going to tow it with. Exactly. So, what would be the minimum that someone could tow that with? Uh, Thirty-five hundred. 
35. Okay. WR. So if you have okay. a rating at least 3,500, then you could tow it. Or above, that's what. Yeah, okay. What we're looking Very cool. Yeah. And I'm sure folks will want to know because I've seen some people coming up here and asking you guys yeah. about price. So before we take a look at it, yeah. I know it's a prototype, so you don't have a price set we yet. We don't. Right? We don't have a price tag, but you know, just looking at the the research and and the the cost involved and everything else, we're hoping to bring it to the market under fifty thousand dollars. Okay. And then we'll have a base model. We'll have some options. Okay. Because obviously a rooftop tent. Mm -hmm. Lithium batteries, they get expensive. Yeah. So, and some people don't need the rooftop. Yeah. Or you, you already know? have your own. Like, you I've your got own. a Tapui I've had for a while. Right. And, all and a lot of Jeepers have, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. um, or they might even have their cooler already. Right. A lot of them electric right. coolers. So, yeah. we'll make that option. Exactly. All yes. right. Awesome. So, yeah. uh, let's see. Should we start from the outside? Yeah. yeah. Work so, our way in. Yep, so. Absolutely. So, starting at the front. Okay. Just go ahead. go ahead. So obviously a, a full rotating hitch. You got to have a pin for off-road uh, hitch driving. So a full rotation 360. Okay. Uh, full steel uh, frame. Very beefy frame to handle off-road. Uh, we're going to have the capability of doing two bike racks on the tongue or one motorcycle rack. A lot oh, okay. of people like a dual sport bike, dirt bike yeah. put on there. Mm -hmm. Or even e-bikes. Right, exactly. So then we have a full storage uh, compartment here uh, just for more storage. We also have the batteries and the inverter over on this side. On that side, right. One of the other things, big things, is where do you put your firewood in your sprinter when you're going out thing, <laughs> and, and no one wants their firewood in with their stuff. No. <laughs> so we have a firewood rack. You can put a, a, a spider web, you know, net over to here. That's uh -huh. what this is for. Yeah. Or if you need more capacity for bikes, you can take this off and put two more bikes up here, so you can have oh. four bikes if you need it. Right. You got I kids, see. you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yep. And it looks like you've got at least one tank off this door. We got door. two tanks, one on each side. Okay. Off these doors, and the only thing that runs propane, actually two things, the the uh, stove mm -hmm. and the heater run off propane, but the heater also runs off 12 volt. Okay. Which is very cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, so I mean, that the propane is just going to be a little bit more efficient, you know. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Yep. On, on, yep. Your, on your batteries. I yep. see you've got solar panels. Two, yeah, two 190s. Okay. And then also a remote plug in for another portable. We have a 100 watt panel uh, portable on that side. Yeah, so if you get parked in under shade on here, you can throw a panel out here in the open area to get sun. A lot yeah. of people don't think that through yeah. when they're exactly. out there camping. Yeah. So, exactly. And that'll feed... You uh, want shade, but you need the sun yeah. if you want to trickle charge stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So, and okay. that'll feed uh, two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Okay, cool. And then a 1500 watt inverter. All right. Yep. So let's uh, let's go this way. Yep. Uh, storage here? Yeah, full pass-through storage. It's okay. locked right now. The boys went to lunch, so I can't even open that for okay. you. But mm -hmm. full pass-through storage. So you have this all the way across. All the way through. Yeah, okay. which is really good. So. Very nice. Yep. Um, I like these windows. These are very popular nowadays. Dual, uh, they're acrylic, yep. yeah. uh, but they're dual paint, right. full season camper. Mm -hmm. um, and But uh, what I love about them, they're lighter than glass, mm -hmm. but they open up all the way to here. So yeah. you see, you get that cross ventilation. Yeah. Makes it a lot nicer. You yeah. Know, the other stuff. So the old, you, yeah, you sorry, still have ahead. some good insulation with this. Absolutely. Because of the thickness. Absolutely. And then if it's rainy, you can still have this open. Yeah. And the screen folds up yeah. up here. And okay, so there is a screen oh, on absolutely. the inside. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we'll see that when we go yep. in. All right. Very this cool. one has a full wrap on it. The actual production vehicle will be gray fiberglass with just graphics on it. Okay. Um, but this one just has a wrap on it. But uh, it'll okay. be gray, gray glass. All right. Again, uh, off-road wheels and tires. These are black Rhino. Mm -hmm. So very good wheel. Proven yeah. off-road wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, do great. We got a timber and suspension on it. So okay. you can you can actually adjust the spindle mm -hmm. uh, all the way from a two-inch drop to a two-inch rise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice uh, door here. Yeah, it's a like European door. We actually use these on our conventional travel trailer. Okay. Uh, very durable, uh, mm -hmm. nice entry door. Um, then the roof rack uh, on the top, you can see that's where oh. we attach our awning to. Right. And we also attach the rooftop tent to. Oh, okay. What? Uh, and that's your roof rack that's up there? Yes. Your proprietary yep. roof rack? Roof rack. Um, okay. Yep. Very cool. And then uh, as we're going around here will be the kitchen. Obviously the rear galley uh, outside, yeah. just a full flip up door. And this is where we have our, our dual Truma, mm -hmm. uh, refrigerator freezer combo, uh, two burner stove, full stainless steel drawer with sink. We have a 40 gallon freshwater tank. Oh, cool. To feed your shower and your yeah. sink. Oh, that's good. Yep. Yeah, 40 gallons. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. But I'll show you something really cool in a minute uh, on that on that tank that we yeah. did. But. And we're gonna we're gonna have bungees across here, so this stuff will stay in when you're going down the the road. And then we're also gonna have a molly plate up here to do it. But a little oh, cool. extra prep area we'll here. Get a table. Pull yep. Out. 
So the, does this whole thing fold? Yeah, this thing slides oh, in Oh, that slides and in and then it all falls. all swings around the back. Oh, okay. So this, one of the things when you go camping, was the challenge is where you put your garbage. Right. Every one of us, we take a 50 gallon trash can and tie it to their ladder or something. Yeah. So now we got a trash can. Yeah. And also there's things that might try to get into it. So. Yeah, exactly. So this so is bear proof. You know, yeah. Does this proof. have a bear rating? <laughs> Yeah, we should get that rated better yeah. than a Yeti, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so obviously, cool. this is how you get to the rooftop tent. Yeah. Uh, so this comes with a spare. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> okay. Full on spare, same tire package yeah. is, is on your. Okay. Rate. So when you're when you're buying this, you'll get like a, a nice tire Just and rim package. It comes totally with it. match the the, uh, okay. the stock. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep. All right. We've got a ladder going up here. Yep. On this side. Yep. Um, can this? The other side didn't have one, right? No, so, so one, way, way, one, only on one this side. way in and out. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. You got it. All right. And we're going to keep going another window. Yep. Good pass through. And then, uh, like you were saying, you can put another Same tank thing back here. I think yep. the tank's over so there. So, what right you do now. is that's really just a storage area for the tank. So, when mm -hmm. you want to use the rear, you just take it off and put it back there. And while you oh, do okay. it, then put it back up here. Yeah. And, uh, and away you go. So, okay. Yeah. And I think we've got some electrics in here. Can we? Yeah, this, we've got. Uh, I think it's locked. Yeah, we've yeah. locked. But that's okay. uh, the two battery lithium batteries are in here yeah. and the 1500 watt inverter are yeah. in here. All that stuff will be in there. And you could upgrade that to some level Anything if you, you wanted want. to. You could put okay. as many batteries around it. You could upgrade your inverter to whatever size you want. Okay. Uh, but the ability to lock away because lithium batteries are about a grand a piece. Yeah. So we want to make lock that up. <laughs> you know. And I think you guys have some water filtration stuff. Yeah, I know and we unfortunately were. the boys went to lunch and locked me out. So yeah. there's a water filter system called by Rugged Water. Mm -hmm. It's the MRX system. It's a really, it's I'm really excited about it because basically it's, it's two filters with its own little pump. Mm -hmm. So if you drain all your 40 gallons mm -hmm. and you have any water source, mm -hmm. pond, creek, lake, put the hose down in there, it's got a filter on the end, and mm -hmm. pump it Suck through. Suck it up and filter it. Filters it, mm -hmm. drinkable water, build back up. Yeah. I'm really excited That's about That's pretty that. cool. All right, so let's uh, let's go inside now. So. so on the inside, what we did is, again, we wanted to keep it simple and functional. So the, the storage overhead, uh, over the galley, is what mm -hmm. you see in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a, actually up on the right, that's just a storage bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, is, uh, and you got for your Zero Breeze? Yep, yeah. Zero Breeze AC, run right yeah. up to 12 volt. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, and we have the, the Molly panel system. If you're just you can't be in the landing if you don't have Molly. No, you got to have Molly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and otherwise you're not tactical enough. Exactly right, so we got we to gotta get that in there. Yeah. The TV flips around both ways, so you can watch mm -hmm. it inside or outside. Now the TV is also a 12 volt smart TV. Okay. So 12 volt, but if you do have signal, you can stream right off the web. Okay, very nice. And uh, you've got the bathroom here, which yeah. I'm sure people will want to see. Here's there. another Molly panel right here. If you guys yep. want to see um, an example of some Molly stuff, there's a light and a first aid kit here. Yep. I'll come back and get that. Yeah. Yeah. After I'm gonna get some some good stuff on it. We ran out of time, but yeah, and we're still tweaking some of this. So. Uh, Great thing. So we'll probably raise this up to about here, but again, I'll show you in a minute on the doors. Yeah. But yeah, exactly that. First aid, light, gloves, yeah. duct tape. Yeah, probably your stuff that Quick. you want to keep yeah. inside but be able to grab it real right. fast. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay, Lola, uh, which way are you going? I'm just going to grab this. So yeah, and these the cab Maldi cabinet also. doors, um, we traditionally have a door here with, with hinges. We just want to simplify because mm -hmm. hinges go bad and all that kind of stuff. We just, let's do a, a door out of a Molly plate. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that's cool. And it worked out great. Yeah, yeah. and it's also helped structure rigidity. So yeah, keeps things in while you're beefies. moving around. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so on the inside here, what did you guys do with this seating? We yeah, let me, we'll show you. Let me yeah. show you this real quick. The bathroom. Okay. All right. So here you get a shot of the the cassette toilet. Full stand up. It's pretty good size. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Got more storage back there. Yeah. Uh, there's a window. In there. Oh, that's a wet. Okay, no, that's storage. storage. Yeah. Pretty actually huge storage in there. Yeah. And that's a cassette toilet that came out the other side, so five gallon okay. uh, tank on that. Oh, okay, yeah, I saw the cassette door. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Hang on one second here. Here, do you want me to shed some light, Lola? Hold on. Okay, here we go. Oh, that works. Perfect. Thank you. Camera struggling in the dark. That works. Show that storage space have a light there. On you. Uh, looks like there is 
Okay, shower accompaniments in there. That's that toilet. Yeah, Green Man Tactical helped us with uh, the molly. Oh, they did? They okay. On the inside of our atlas? Yeah. I got uh, Green Man plates on the back of the seats. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I've done some stuff. Have I've you done, done the seat backs from Gray Man yep, Tactical? Cool, yeah. yeah, we know those guys. Yeah, they're really cool, and we, we put them in. I, I haven't got a, anything installed on them, but... Oh, okay. But I think, you know, we're going to run up probably up, you know, Gloves, duct tape, yeah. flashlight, multi-tool. Yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff on mine. So here, Lola, if you turn back this way, I'll light you guys. Um, and even on the console. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at the interior here. Yeah, so what we've done up here is made a U-shaped dinette um, with some really nice heavy-duty foam, so it's not going to break down. It's very firm, but yet has a really good hand to it. Um, ultra leather, it's called, so it's very plush but very durable. And the front up here is actually a uh, X-pad uh, uh, foam pad, which is, I've been on them all, they're the best. Mm -hmm. It's super good, super comfortable, and very good R-factor. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is about a double-sized bed. You want more sleeping. What, what we wanted was to have a place to sleep, and the table is a Laguan table slip all the way around so someone could sit here and work and while someone's still taking a nap if they wanted yeah. to. So, so this is made up all the time but once you go night, table, yeah. it's drop good. it in here you got a king bed. So it goes from a double to a king oh, okay. at night which is really really pretty cool. And then you can sleep this way and see the TV over there if you wanted to. Okay, do we have any storage under here? No, uh, that's the pass-through. So all okay. here, here, we, I'm oh, sorry, on this side you have one over here. Okay. This side's open, but this side is that pass-through under here. Right. Accessed out here, and that's where the Truma Combi Echo heater, water heater is. It is, okay. Here. Very yeah. nice. But you have all this storage. So I like the uh, diamond stitching here on the seat. Yeah, you like is that? that? Is that going to be in the final product? Absolutely. Okay, I, cool. Yeah, I really, uh, I mean, I've been trying to get diamond stitching on our yeah. fabric for three years. <laughs> yeah, that's Finally nice. got it. Yeah. It's, How uh, you guys like the color? You like the color combination good. all right? I like the combo. Okay. Yeah. All right. You feel it? Oh, it's super soft. Yeah. What kind of foam is that in there? Well, there's just densi high density foam, mm -hmm. but the leather, it's called ultra leather. It's yeah. not leather, it's a fake leather, right. but it's super durable. Okay. You can take a ballpoint pen, mark it, and, and rub oh, it off. Okay. So, it's very, it's used a lot in high-end motorhomes, mm -hmm. uh, and we got it from, I used to work at Fleetwood, and American Coach is a oh, high-end diesel pusher. Yes. They use ultra leather. Yeah, we've done a lot of stuff years. with American Coach. Yeah, have you? Believe it or not. Oh, yes. yeah. We're uh, actually owned by Coachman. the same. We were just in Indiana a few weeks oh, ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're actually owned by the same company, Rev, Rev Group owns oh, us. Rev, oh, you guys Fleetwood. are part of Rev Group. We are, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. cool. Yep, actually, yep. okay. Yeah, yeah we so know they Ron have, uh, Preston. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. great. So they have uh, uh, Fleetwood, mm -hmm. uh, American Coach, uh, Holiday Rambler, mm -hmm. uh, Midwest Automotive, which is Class mm -hmm. B's, mm -hmm. and Renegade, which is Super C's, mm -hmm. and us. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I've done some stuff with the Renegade, and awesome. I've done a lot of uh, of um, uh, what we would call American Coach, and yep. it's kind of like this, you know, yep. cool. similar things, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's, nice. that's the interior, and uh, bamboo table, solid bamboo, which we really like. And it works great, and uh, we're still working on tweaking some specifics and getting feedback here, which we got tremendous feedback. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. And the shades come down. It looks yeah, like there's a shade, the so you have here. you have uh, 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 netting, uh, insect there, and then you have your shades. Yeah. There's a lot of elements in here that are very similar to Class B vans, yeah. probably Class Cs as well. This window's used in a lot yeah. of different uh, typical RV product, although this is a new one from Lippert. Uh, mm -hmm. But we've been using Euro windows, they call them, mm -hmm. in our traditional trailers mm -hmm. for probably four or five years now. Okay, very cool. Oh, the flooring too is pretty cool. It's uh, Infinity yeah. oh, is yeah. a, a carpet kit. So uh, basically, surge, the surge. You can you can pull it up and take it out and shake it out. Oh, okay, I see. That's it's cool. uh, Infinity. Su okay. It's nylon actually, so mm -hmm. super durable, super stain resistant, really high yeah. end stuff. What would be cool is to have a, a, a roll-up version that comes with this that you could put out here. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be really cool. Yeah, awning mat kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's funny you mention that because we made a a, a 10 by 10 display like mm -hmm. that. It's over in our, we have a little port display over here that's oh, okay. in there. So we, oh. could, we could bring that over and yeah. light it right out. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> okay. I like yeah. that. That's a good idea. As soon as you get there, you know, throw it out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. I love awning mats. Yeah. All right, Bob. So for yep. the wrap up here, yep. um, you know, are there, I'm sure there's some stuff we've missed out that the folks would like to know. So if we sure. could just 
go back over that quickly. And then yeah. uh, the I think we were going to cover this awning, right? Right. Yeah, it's a 230 awning. Okay. Uh, 180 awning, mm -hmm. uh, which we really like. It's pretty lightweight, but super uh, durable and has you know UV prevention. So underneath it, the sun doesn't get through it. Mm -hmm. Folds up very easy. Stand up on here and, and fold it up. So that works real good, and, and mm -hmm. it bolts right under our roof rack, as does the the uh, Falcon roof nest. Okay. The roof nest Falcon XL. That's what the uh, tent would be. Yep, that's the tent. So can you get this on both sides, or well, because you've got the tent over there, you can have it on that yeah, side. Yeah. So right? nope, can't okay. put it on that. On that. You yeah. could. Mm -hmm. um, you could put it on the other side. You just couldn't get to the tent yeah. from it. But oh, if okay. you don't have the tent. You could put another could one it. over there if you wanted. Yeah, if you to. wanted to. Yeah, a bat wing would be nice too to, to go around. Well, it. we have yeah, we have the the rear door, so we're trying to figure out maybe we put a some kind of an extension that connects the the rear to the door. door to it. Yeah, and that gives some good shade under that too. Right. Yeah. 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 As well as like shelter from the rain if you're out there cooking and, and exactly. it's raining. Exactly. And we yeah. actually got that feedback to show today is that mm -hmm. we're going to do a uh, actually we're going to have a magnetic netting too on the inside on the here. Okay. So the bugs can't get through there when that's open. Yeah. But uh, somebody else said yeah, just do a, a little. We probably will just do a, a two-way, leave the, this side open, but if it's raining, give you a little shelter for while you're cooking up Yeah, so yeah. Great, great suggestion. Yeah. Got so a lot when, of great suggestions. Absolutely. Yeah. So when can folks look forward to seeing this out there? I know you well, might have said that already. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, this is a, a prototype, but a lot of great feedback. So mm -hmm. it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're in a very fortunate situation where our current product is, is really in high demand. So mm -hmm. we got to figure out where we're going to build it. So okay. that's a good challenge to have. But I think we'll be in market in production uh, in 2022. 2022? Yeah. And if folks want to know more, if they're watching yeah. this, where can they go to? LanceCamper.com. So right. just L-A-N-C-E, Camper.com. And that's where we'll put updates about the Enduro status. Awesome. You Thanks, Bob. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you for coming by. All right. You're welcome. All right, guys. We're out.